How big a flop was Amazon's Fire smartphone? Big enough for Amazon to dismiss dozens of engineers who worked on the phone at the company's secretive Lab 126 development complex. The layoffs were the first in the division's 11-year history. It's a move which marks a stark turnaround in the company's traditionally aggressive approach to research and development. The Fire smartphone was unveiled with great fanfare last year, but sales never took off, and Amazon was forced to take a $170 million charge to cover unsold inventory. The Amazon Fire smartphone uh, was a complete failure on pretty much any measurement. Uh, first of all, on sales, for it was hard for them to sell the phone at any price, but also it was unfinished with some of the basic features, even like email, and not the advanced features uh, weren't, quite frankly, weren't valued. Lab 126's most successful product was the Kindle e-reader, but other products have not caught on as well with consumers. Products like the Echo Voice activated speaker, the Dash button that allows consumers to reorder household products, and other Fire-branded devices like the Fire TV set-top box and Fire HD tablet. And as part of its cutback in product development, the Wall Street Journal reports Amazon has also scaled back work on a large screen tablet. While the entrenchment in R&D has had a negative impact on Lab 126's roughly 3,000 member staff, the cost savings helped drive a $92 million second quarter profit, no doubt pleasing investors who've pushed the company's shares higher in the past several weeks. I think what it says about Jeff Bezos is he does have a pragmatic side where a lot of the things he does are, I, I would characterize them as, as dreamy and aspirational. I think at some point when you're pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into projects and you can't show success time in and time out, I think it shows that Bezos has a pragmatic side, which is to pull the plug or let's say dial back the investment. But there are still some high-end development projects in the works. The company is developing Cabinet, a computer for the kitchen that's designed to be a hub for an internet-connected home and take voice commands. In relation to home automation, the one question I would, I would have, and I think that, that the entire industry should be asking is, how much of this is about getting profiles and advertising to consumers, and how much of it is about selling useful products for people to automate their homes?